Hi, we are back to our five minute Chinese. We left one week, now we are back as we promised. So I hope you will be back to see, find us. Okay, let's take a look the answers to uh, one week ago's homework. Sentence number one is 那是谁的行李?它很重 那是谁的行李?它很重 Whose luggage is that? Whose luggage is that? It's a very heavy. It's very heavy. Mm. So this number two. 你能去拿一些酸奶吗? 我想吃了。你能去拿一些酸奶吗? 我想吃了。Could you go to get some yogurt? I want to eat. Could you go to get some yogurt? I want to eat. Sentence number three. 你在哪儿拿了推车? 你在哪儿拿了推车? Mm. Be careful this sentence. This sentence after na is l because it is a past tense. Still remember, l is a sign for past tense. Where did you get your card? Where did you get your card? Sentence number four. 在洗手间。不能喝茶在洗手间不能喝茶在洗手间洗手间 so the new word we learned last week so we cannot say new word now in the bathroom 洗手间 is the place you can wash your hand you cannot drink tea in the bathroom you cannot drink tea still remember the difference between 能和会 between 能 and 会 Mm. Neng has a, a special function that is get a permit. Like during the class, you ask your professor, May I go to the bathroom? 我能不能去洗手间? 我能不能去洗手间? Because in this sentence, it's not like you want to tell people your ability. You want to get people permit. Mm. Last one. 这些书很重很重。这些书很重很重 Please don't forget the vocabularies we learned in the past six in the old five minute Chinese mm. and like what I said again and again I do encourage you have your own vocabulary list so when you notice you forget some words go back to check it will be very helpful mm. but remember one thing Forgetting something is very, very normal when we are learning a new language or any language. The most important thing is not try your best to remember that. Go back to review again and again and apply them again and again. Uh -huh. Like why you never forget English? Because every day you speak. You got it? Mm -hmm. So, this some people ask me, Ping, what is this? This? This, T H E S E, this. We learned in season, I cannot remember season four or season three. This book means a book. These books are very, very heavy. The literal meaning is these books are very heavy, very heavy. This book is very, very heavy. See, when you are doing listening practice, you can also learn Chinese people's uh, speaking habits, the way, the authentic Chinese. How the, how the native speaker, the native Chinese speaker will say the sentence. This is very Just repeat. Very mm. uh, So next time like you want to express your love to your wife, your husband, you can say, 我很爱,很爱你。我很爱,很爱你. So this is what I want to say. Don't just treat our listening, our Chinese sentences as a listening, simple listening practice. If you can, you can remember some of, I cannot say all of them, some of the short sentences. Hey, okay, that's very typical. Chinese uh, or oral, oral Chinese, recite them. They'll be very helpful. When you want to express something, hey, I remember, Ping said, Hey, he's very, very nice. It's very nice. It's very good, very good. You want to express your love? Uh, you got it? Uh, so this is pretty useful. And honestly, the sentences I, I offer to you 
and to practice listening. It's not just, hey, I think of this and I write down. I tr first, they are all about the new words we learned in one week. Second, the rest of the words is the words we learned in the past. Third, they are short. If this is not a conversation, they are short, useful, typical. So if you can remember them, they'll be very helpful for your oral Chinese. Okay, anyway, let's listen what we will learn, what we will hear this week. Ready? Mm. So of course, there's some new words here, and I will put the new words on the board. And as usual, try your best to figure out by yourself um, with the help of the context. Sentence number one is a simple conversation. Person A asks, 你在哪儿买了苹果? 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 The answer is, 在超市,他们有很多大苹果. 在超市,他们有很多大苹果. In the answer, 苹果 was repeated again. Was repeated again. Okay, sentence number two. 在超市,如果你有一个推车, 你不会觉得东西很重. 在超市,如果... This word is very useful. 如果, 如果, you always will use every day. 在超市, 如果你有一个推车, 你不会觉得东西很重. Mm, only this one is a new word. 在超市, 如果你有一个推车, 你不会觉得东西很重. Sentence number three. 我昨天买了一个西瓜. 我昨天买了一个西瓜。但是一点儿也不甜。但是一点儿也不甜。但是一点儿也不甜. This is one sentence again. 我昨天买了一个西瓜。但是一点儿也不甜。一点也不 is a sentence, it's a very useful sentence pattern we learned in the second episode in season 7. In the second episode in season 7, in the new season. Okay, what I want to give you the hint is, 西瓜 is, I, can, I almost can say, it's the most popular summer fruit. So it's a fruit. Same thing, 苹果 is also a fruit, but 苹果 you can eat all year round. Very common, very popular, very common fruit. You can find almost in every country. And Xigua, like what I said, if people ask you, hey, what is a summer fruit? Probably, that, if people ask me, probably that will be my first answer. Tian, okay, so this one, I think you can put it Easily to figure out. Sentence number four. 妈妈买的苹果. In number four, 苹果 again, like what I said, 苹果 is a very common but popular fruit. You can eat all year round. You can eat all year round. 妈妈买的苹果又大又甜. Also, it's a repeat. Exactly the same. 甜, 很好吃, 很好吃. In this sentence, there's the sentence pattern. The sentence pattern there is this. 又, 又. 妈妈买的苹果, 又大, 又甜, 很好吃. Last one. 你在哪儿买了那个西瓜? 你在哪儿买了那个西瓜? It's the same thing, just repeat, give you more hint, which I hope can help you figure out faster, a little bit, Easy, easier. Uh. 你在哪儿买了那个西瓜? Mm. Probably you cannot figure out all of them, but I think at least one or two. 
you will have no problem. Okay, if you have any question or problem, please don't feel hesitate to contact us. Mm -hmm. And again, if you really think we are good, please advertise for us and tell your friends, your family who want to learn Chinese or Chinese culture to subscribe us, to follow us. Okay, I see you tomorrow. 再见! Thank you for watching our video. Please like and comment if you really enjoyed. Also, if you want to watch more videos, please subscribe to us. If you are interested in donating to help us, please check the links below. Thank you. Bye.